Well, hi folks, Kevin here again. So I'm out on the trail once more on a Friday evening. Today I'm going to be doing the Copper uh, Nature Trail. Plan tonight is to do a short hike in and then set up camp. And it uh, should be kind of interesting tonight because I have a new hammock. Let's uh, set off on the trail and see how we get on once we get to camp. Ooh. Wobbly. This is going to be my camping spot for the night. Uh, there's the there's the open fireplace and also the possibility to grill food as well. Here is my sleep system. First, the ultra light drummer hammock from Amok. Then we have the fuel winter light mat this goes into the hammock and gives it its rigidity and structure and then lastly the shield 10 ultralight tarp so as you can see it is a bit on the bulky side for a sleep system nevertheless the hammock squishes down quite a bit as does the uh, tarp the uh, mat not so much and then the actual bag itself is made from the same very fine see-through mesh and you can see that see-through mesh that the actual hammock is made out of it it's a bit freaky actually being in the hammock and being able to see through the walls but I guess you'll get used to it next bit is the poles these are for keeping up the head and uh, foot ends show you, I'll show you those later then we have the one set of huggers tree huggers and straps and then another set of tree hugger straps and then the actual hammock itself. And I'll just pull it out like so. Okay, well, first things first, you gotta figure out which is the head end and which is the foot end. Each tree hugger is very simple, has a loop at the end. You feed the strap through the loop around the tree at the desired height. And then on each, each tree hugger are these uh, clips with a arrow on so and then you also on the hammock then you've got a receiving buckle that takes it through those wide, widest part and uh, on the other side then there's a red buckle these correspond to uh, red and green on the tarp so you know basically which is the front end which is the back end so very simply you turn the buckle so that it basically goes through and locks in place with the strap above the tree strap and then from there you can pull tight and then the hammock looks like that the next thing to do is to inflate the mat and insert the mat into the hammock to give it its shape so this is the uh, mock fuel winter light uh, mat it has an hour value of 5 so it should be good for down to about minus 18 degrees and of course as standard it comes with an ultralight pump bag okay and there's a little flap at the bottom of the hammock so that uh, in the ultralight version the mat just sits in like so okay the last thing to do then is to insert these uh, metal poles they make a, an arc shape like that and they help keep both the foot end and the head end up. And for this there are little pockets. Goes in like so. And then like that. And then our hammock is ready. So the next thing to do is to set up the tarp. And uh, this is the skjold. 10 ultralight multi tarp and uh, it comes with a small little bag inside the main bag it has a velcro opening and there are six small anodized aluminium pegs with loops on the end quite short but uh, yeah quite snazzy looking on the corners the, there is 
guy ropes and there are also line tighteners attached straight to the corners of the corners of the tarp and they also have uh, stitched holes in so in principle you can use a, a trekking pole and put a point through there and it actually helps to support it which is ingenious you don't have to have any separate guy lines uh, with you it all comes in one package uh, I mentioned previously that the uh, tree hugger straps for the hammock itself they had green and red this corresponds with there's one green and on the far corner there's a uh, a red one that basically means that the, the tarp will go in the right configuration based on the how the actual hammock is lying okay so it's done um, total setup time was about I'd say 20 minutes to half an hour so not too bad for a first time setup so this will be my configuration when I go to sleep tonight so that I'm completely covered it's not forecast to rain I think for setting up food and prior to going to bed though I will detach these front pegs and just flip the tarp over the back so that it's out of the way. Good morning folks. Well, it's my first night spent in the Amok Drummer ultralight hammock. Uh, yeah, very comfortable. I didn't sleep very well though because yeah, there's a lot of animal activity last night, deer and things making noises, but um, yeah, overall, really really comfortable and uh, otherwise it was a very peaceful night so this is my view from my hammock absolutely stunning nature here with the sea and the wooded islands Okay, so thank you to this lovely spot, Sander and Eadet, for hosting me for the night. It's uh, really fantastic and I'm going to have to come here again. So now I'm going to do a tour of the island and make this final loop before uh, returning back the way I came. So I'm on the last leg of the trail back to the car. Um, yeah, thoughts on the uh, Mock Drummer Ultralight. Uh, first off, very easy to set up, very fast, no faff. The fact that the tarp also has the guy ropes readily attached uh, made setting up a breeze. Uh, the hammock itself. Uh, and the sleep system somewhat on the bulky side but not excessively so was the hammock comfortable yes but was it the was the hammock though the solution to my not getting a good night's sleep out while out camping not last night at least i think i'm gonna need to use it a good few more times before i can really get used to it some downsides getting in and out is a bit of a faff still and uh, that's likely to continue for a while yet until I get used to it. The mattress itself is a little bit on the narrow side so that if you lay a little bit over the edge and you don't have any sleeping bag or otherwise mat between you and the outside it could get a bit drafty. Currently with the temperatures we're having uh, that's not really a problem but if I want to use the hammock later on in the cooler season or during the winter yeah that could be could be drafty we'll see how that goes should be an easy enough fix though to add a foam mat and lie on top of that positioning in the hammock you need to be quite center centered in the hammock otherwise there's a good chance you are going to slide to the foot end and uh, just as well that there is a, a sort of a cup shaped uh, part on the end of the foot end to stop you from actually sliding right out so uh, that's going to require a little bit of getting used to as well but yeah overall very happy with the hammock and uh, i look forward to trying it out again okay i'm not too far from the car now so i will 
say goodbye here and uh, hope you liked the video if you did consider watching some of my other ones and uh, yeah by all means leave a comment down below yeah, or if you have any questions about the Amok about my experience please feel free to ask I'll be happy to try and answer them if I can so until my next video and I catch you out on the trail again this is Kevin signing off from Copper Flood and Trail all the best my my